parents and teachers have been urged to instill a reading culture to learners from an early age. According to an international author and filmmaker, Kenny Mann, this will make the learners responsible as well as shaping their future. Subsequently, it is in this spirit that some Kenyan authors have started instilling early knowledge through storybooks to the young generation, especially on human wildlife conflicts and the ecosystem. At Regi School, Runda, we find pupils busy as they handle different types of lessons under the competence-based curriculum calendar. Kenyman, an international author, has visited the children, and storytelling and book editing skills is underway here. can do conservation. They can work with scientists. They can make their own observations. They can make their own reports. They can have an effect. The curiosity and know-how in these children is visible. It, it's very inspiring so that we know about, we learn about wildlife conservation, which is something that we've heard of before, but it's not, to us, it's not brought up very seriously. It's not, we have to be told again and again to know that when you see um, trash on the road, you have to pick it up so that we can inform the future generations that global warming and cheating wildlife badly is not right. According to Kenyman, the world of writing and filmmaking in Kenya is exploding. We've been talking about this for 30 years and we've done nothing with our young children and now we have something that they can hold and read and discuss and learn from. And I see from this, this um, workshop right here, the interest level is extremely high. These kids know a lot more than we think they do about the state of the planet. And to invoke a reading culture, Story Moja publishers have launched a Sunday Wildlife Detective series that is aimed at ensuring Mother Nature and the whole ecosystem is protected. Today we're here because there's a book launch for wildlife detectives, the first ever in the world, and it's African wildlife detectives and it's about wildlife conservation. It's meant to drive the reading culture from within, not for the teacher to demand that the child buys this book or for a parent to be the one to choose it, but for the children themselves to desire this book. The first series of the book focuses on the turtles that are becoming an endangered species at the Kenyan coast. So today we were launching the first title of a book series we'll have. It's called SUDEF Wildlife Detectives Series. And um, this is the first ever wildlife detectives fiction book series set in Africa. With the release of such books to the young generation, it is evident that the future for Mother Nature is safeguarded. Ruth Wamboy for Lunchtime News.